Today I want to look at learning multiplication facts. A lot of students know their multiplication facts, but they've forgotten them over the summer, so we want to do a quick refresher. I've also noticed that a lot of students like to do finger tricks when learning their multiplication facts. Finger tricks are okay, but they slow you way down. If your teacher's giving you a multiplication quiz, and they're timed like most teachers do, you're writing along, you come to the one you, you're stumped, but you remember the trick, you have to put your pencil down, put your hands up, figure out your finger trick, put your hands back down, pick your pencil up, write the answer, and then go on. At that point, you've lost a lot of time, and you're probably not going to finish the quiz. So today we're going to look at several different types of multiplication facts, but we're going to try to look at ways to remember them so we don't have to do finger tricks at all. Multiplying by sevens is the same as counting by sevens. Now, I don't know any fun little tricks. There's not really any good patterns you can see in the sevens. The sevens kind of follow everybody else's multiplication rule. But if we just think about counting by sevens, we should be okay. Seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. Seven times four is 28. Seven times five is 35. Seven times six is 42. 7 times 7 is 49. 7 times 8 is 56. 7 times 9 is 63. 7 times 10 is 70. 7 times 11 is 77. And 7 times 12 is 84. So there is a pattern, but the pattern is so large in the sevens that we don't see it start over again until tens, which doesn't help us learn the sevens multiplications very well. But there is a fun little trick you can do. You can think about singing a song. And it's a song everybody knows. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. Now if you think about that, everybody sang happy birthday. So you just sing your sevens to the tune of happy birthday. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63. It's a good way to remember your sevens.